Hi, I'm Sam and this is Steve and we're going to be showing you how to perform some lower body exercises using the 66 fit trapezoid balance beam. Before we start, I'll just show you a couple of quick things. We're going to be doing all these exercises with the narrow side of the beam facing up but you can do them with the wider side of the beam facing up, that's absolutely fine. Also, you notice that Steve hasn't got his shoes on, he's doing it in socks. You can do these in bare feet as well if you like. Um, just make sure that you're not doing them with your shoes on because you don't want to tear the material that the beam's made out of. Okay, so that's on to the exercises. What we're gonna do is start with two feet width ways on the beam. We're just gonna step on, put two feet in the middle, Take your time with this because it will feel a little alien because of the material that it's made out of. It's very unstable as well as the fact that your feet, you may notice that the front and back of your feet are hanging off the, the edge of the beam but that is what it's designed for. When you're in this position just soften your knees a fraction, keep your head up, keep your chest up and a nice flat back. Your ankles will be working fairly hard doing this just to stabilise yourself and keep you steady on the beam. Look to hold this for 30 to 45 seconds. We can progress this slightly further by taking still two feet on the beam, but lengthways along the beam as opposed to across the width of the beam. So Steve's just gonna put two feet on there now for us, a bit like he's walking a tightrope. This will be a bit more of a challenge just because you've got a much smaller base to stand on. If you need to put your arms out like Steve is doing here, that's, that's completely fine, just to improve your balance a little bit. If you do need to hold onto the back of a chair or hold onto a table if you're doing this at home, that's also fine. Just make sure that you've got yourself set. That's good. Like with the first exercise, 30 to 45 seconds is a good target to aim for. We can progress this by taking a step off the beam and coming back to the original position with our feet across the width of the beam, except this time we're gonna do it with one foot as opposed to two. So put one foot in the middle of the beam to start with, soften your knee just to lower your center of gravity. Here we go. Again, if you need to have your arms out, that's fine. As you can see, compared to the first time, Steve's ankle, his right one in this case, is really having to work very hard to stabilise him on the beam. But he's doing a good job of just correcting. You can see he's just touching down with his toe. That's fine, just to get his balance again. Look for around 30 to 45 seconds of this. However, with doing it on a single leg, you would need to switch legs once you've got to your allotted length of time and do the same on the other leg. Go take a rest there Steve. Final progression that we're going to do is going to be along the length of the beam like we had with two feet except it's going to be with one foot this time. Make sure you've got the foot in the centre of the beam, take the other foot up off the floor. Again like Steve's got his arms out that's completely natural if you need to do that that's fine. Ankles still having to work really hard doing this one just due to the instability and the nature of the beam. But that's what we're looking to achieve is that stability around our ankle and our knee. All the while, Steve's got his head up looking forwards. Good, take a rest there. Like with the other single leg balance, look for 30 to 45 seconds switch legs and then achieve the same on the other leg.